Welcome back everyone, Dan Vega here, back with another tutorial, and in today's episode, we're actually going to be answering a question that I got from a student, and I thought it was an interesting one, so I thought, why not go ahead and share it with you. So the question is basically this, uh, can I use operator overloading with the new Java 8 date types? So things like local date, local date time, zone date time, etc. So he actually gave me a gist here, which is uh, basically just the source code that he was using. And so I'm gonna throw this in uh, Groovy Council here and let's just take a look at it. So what he wants to do right here, um, this is actually where the problem's coming in. He wants to create a range. And the range is gonna say, uh, I wanna use the local date now as the left side of the range. And the right side is gonna be the local date dot now plus seven. So if we try and run this, we're gonna get an error, and it basically says that there is no signature of the method java.time.localdate.plus. So there is no method um, right here. So remember, when we use that plus sign here, we're actually just uh, using a operator that's been overloaded, and it essentially is calling a method on the class and in this case, it's the plus method. Now, the reason that this is not working is because the Groovy JDK did not add any methods to the Java 8 date and time uh, classes. So this works perfectly fine with just the date class from java.util.date, but does not work here. So let's jump over to the uh, documentation real quick. I just want to show you something. So here I am in the java.util.date class, and this is the GDK, kind of what Groovy's added on top of uh, the Java JDK, the JDK. So if we look in here, if we jump down here, we're going to see some methods here like minus. So that is the overload for the minus sign. So when we call minus, basically underneath the hood, we're just calling this minus method. So Groovy went ahead and added that. So it added a minus, a minus, a next, which is used to kind of increment a date by one day. Um, then there's a plus and a previous. So again, Groovy's added all of these methods to uh, the GDK. Now if we look down, we won't see a local date and time one. So that there's nothing in there that added upon that. So that's why you get this error when you try to do something like this. So the, the short answer is uh, you can't do anything like that yet. Um, the hope is, you know, in a future update of the GDK, they'll go ahead and add those methods to uh, the GDK to kind of enhance those classes as well. Uh, one thing you can do, uh, we can come in here and say local date next week is equal to local date dot now dot plus days. There's actually a method on the local date class called plus days, and that'll give us um, basically what we're looking for as far as one side of the range. Now, if we try to create a range with this, so let's say range call it one week is equal to local date dot now. And then on the other side, we'll use our next week, which we just created, um, and then try and, let's just print line one week. And we're basically gonna get an error here now saying, hey, I don't know how to handle that range because java.time.localdate doesn't have a next method, and that's really how a range works, is it iterates over each element in the range. And there's no next method added to local date. So again, it's just something that works in, works with a regular date because GDK's added that method on top of the class. So again, no way to actually create a range just out of the box. Now we could get creative here. So if we wanted to do something like this, we can say, Let's go ahead and add a new method. So we can grab the meta class and let's add a new method called next. And really all that's gonna do is take the delegate and call plus days on it and gonna add one to it. 
So that's added a method that we're looking for to make this work. So now if we go ahead and do this, this should go ahead and work. So now we have our range of dates using the local date class and that works okay. So again, um, there's probably safer ways to do this. I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of, of tacking stuff onto the meta class, especially in you know teams. People may not understand how that actually works if you don't have a good strategy in that situation. Um, but this scenario, this will work. Um, or you can just kind of um, have to manually iterate over it, um, not using uh, a range. So I thought that was a good question, and I can see how that can be confusing. But again, at the end of the day, it's because the Groovy API did not add those methods on to any of the Java 8 date and time classes yet. Uh, and again, hopefully that will happen one day in the future. But for right now, th th that's not possible. But there are workarounds for it, and, and I hope this makes a little bit of sense. So uh, if you have questions like this, uh, please send them over. Uh, I'd love to create a quick tutorial on on answering those questions. So if you like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and, and leave any feedback you can below. I'll leave any links that are relevant to this in the description below as well. So we'll leave it at that. And I just want to thank you for watching and have a great day.